good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today i have a quick money in the bank action figure setup <laughs> So I guess we can start this setup, guys, outside the ring right here. You see these two tables broken. Obviously, no one is there anymore, but earlier in the match, someone did go through these tables. I guess we can say Bobby Roode went through these tables, guys. I'm just not a big fan of Bobby Roode. His main roster run has just been boring and awful. His face run, hopefully he turns heel very soon. I don't see it happening, but, you know, it could happen. You know, he's sort of made hints towards it. So maybe we'll see Bobby Roode turn heel and, you know, lift his character up. In NXT, he was way better. But uh, we'll go over here to the front of the setup, guys. And we got Braun Strowman with this massive ladder over his head about to smash Miz's face in. You know, Miz right here pleading, please do not kill me, Braun. So uh, Braun easily could squash Miz with this massive ladder. He's even yelling right there. Love that Elite 58 Braun Strowman right there. We come up right here and we have the ladder in the middle of the ring going after the Money in the Bank briefcase. We have my two favorites that I would love to see walk away with the case. We got the Demon King, Finn Balor, and Kevin Owens. Two of my favorites in the company just reaching for the briefcase. This is the two guys that I would like to see capture the Money in the Bank. I think it would do wonders for Kevin Owens. You know, Kevin Owens has lost a lot of momentum. He's lost a lot of matches and I just think he would do wonders with the briefcase it would really elevate him I could definitely see him cashing in and winning the WWE championship that would be beautiful don't know if that's going to happen but uh, I would have Rusev as my third pick to win uh, I think that Miz will probably walk away with it though as we come behind you will see Bobby Roode another Bobby Roode uh, going through a table in this matchup. You see him put through the table. I guess you can say that Samoa Joe is the one that put him through that table. You see Samoa Joe over here. He just put Kof or, uh, he just put Bobby Roode through that table, and now he is about to choke out Kofi Kingston, who is not paying attention right now. We can get the shot through the ladder right there. That's a nice little angle. But he's about to get Kofi Kingston. Guys, Kofi Kingston's in this... Uh, ring right now because he's looking on the outside where Rusev has just planted his tag team partner Big E through a ladder bridge right there. There's also a ladder behind him here, another ladder set up in the corner, and another ladder set up in the corner there. I wish that the Money in the Bank set would be like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, go ahead and give us some scaffolding all around the ring and have the Money in the Bank lifted from the middle like the MDT Money in the Bank was. But over here, we have Xavier Woods on top of the announce table coming to sabotage Rusev. That's what Kofi's going to do, too. They're about to double-team Rusev to save their brother, Big E. And happy Rusev Day to Big E as Rusev is standing over him after powerbombing him through that ladder bridge right there. Kofi unaware of Samoa Joe, about to choke the life out of him right there. But none of them noticed that Kevin Owens and Finn Balor are atop the ladder about to capture the Money in the Bank briefcase. I am very excited for Money in the Bank, guys. It's one of my favorite uh, pay-per-views of the year behind the Royal Rumble. It's just so awesome. I love the, you know, the contract allegation and, you know, just the epic, epic thing that could happen. If they win the Money in the Bank briefcase, it's basically they win the WWE Championship. I love the surprise factor of the cash-in, and it's easily one of my favorites, if not my favorite match of the year. They ruined it last year with Baron Corbin, you know, Trash Corbin winning that thing and just wasting the cash-in. That was terrible. I was just not happy about that at all. But maybe they'll fix it this year with a KO, Finn, or Rusev Day win at Money in the Bank, guys. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, it was just a quick little setup. I wish we had more guys in this match. You know, if it was the Royal Rumble or Elimination Chamber, we could do way more. But uh, I had fun setting this up. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.